Fakalo Falahiachi, my name is Felicia Brown Ecton from the Rock of Polynesia, Nui. Talo Falava, everyone, my name is Piet Mal. Kia ora, I'm Ramon Tawake. Um, I am Chilarua and Nati Fatua. Today on Queens of the Kitchen, we are making fry bread. Today, I brought in Geke Isite, which is, I would say, the Tongan version of fry bread. Um, it's quite moist and it's quite oily as well, but there ain't nothing wrong with some oil, because some of y'all are dry. Oh, jam, okay. Oh. I thought it was fried bread. It's a honey cake. It's kind of sexy. I think the person that made this don't know how to make fried bread, so they just make the fun cake. Yeah. First impressions, I like it. It's really donutty. Very Mangadi Town Centre. Really greasy. Like, I could squeeze it and put some oil and use it for lotion on my hand. Um, nice. Maybe just a bit too oily for my liking. Um, but the texture and the fluffiness inside here is magua nice. Outside of the oil that's like dripping, I could like put a face mask on. And my rating out of 10 for this would be a seven. Out of 10, I'll give this one 10 because I like the balance of everything. The taste, the texture, amazing. I'm going for a seven and a half. I decided that let's go for a home feeling. So I went for homemade jam that my mum made. And then we've got a little bit of cream on the side and I love peanut chocolate. So I thought well, a bit of sprinkle of that on top would just be mwah. Oh wow. Ooh. Looks pretty. Um, this looks very lavish. Um, she, this queen looks like she's from I don't know, Ponce didn't they? <laughs> I am um, very surprised because I thought fry bread was meant to be on this size. It looks good. Visually, it looks like something that you would find at the Papatoi night markets. Oh, darling, it's raw. <laughs> this ain't even cooked. <laughs> yeah, amazing job. Just maybe a bit bigger next time. <laughs> Girl! Yeah, see, I told you, she looks like she, she's from Honson Bay. She must not cook, she must have a chef, because if she cooked this herself, darling, this ain't cooked, boo. You can see I have finished the whole thing, so it is a 10 out of 10 for me. I unfortunately think this is an absolute fail. My score for this fry bread is a 2 out of 10. I will give this for dough a 2. Well, in front of me is my amazing fry bread that I practiced last night. It was my first time actually making fry bread, so I'm really happy with my results and it tasted really good. I think it's better than the others. Thank you. Oh. Well, first impressions, it's pretty big. It's got nice texture, it's like really fluffy. Makeup, sponge. It doesn't pull apart very easily. Like, oh my gosh. Props, can I get a chainsaw, please? <laughs> it tastes better than it looks. No, there's no special notes coming through. Just a lot of dough. Um, I thought it would have a bit of a crispiness to it. Um, but it doesn't have much of a crispiness to it because it's quite chewy. Um, hmm. I'd go for a four and a half. Six. Out of 10, I would give this a seven. Today, 
I've got my beautiful fry bread here today. I've got two versions of toppings that go with it. One to the front is strawberry jam with butter, and the other is um, with butter and yummy golden syrup. Ooh. Oh. I think it looks really cute. Um, I like that it looks like a pillow. It looks quite cushiony because it's risen really nicely. Looks good. Looks, this looks like something that I would eat. Okay, instantly it's nice to have a variety of colour on the plate. Oh, wow. It's hollow inside. Yep, very sweet. Too sweet for my liking. Yeah, this is, this is good. This queen's been cooking for a while. Yeah, a lot of syrup. I like it. It's not too sweet uh, and not too dry and not too doughy. So it's almost kind of got the right balance happening. The syrup just ruined it a bit for me. I'm going to go for an eight. Yeah, I feel like this has just uh, satisfied my palate. I'll give this one a... Five. I'm gonna give this fry bread a 10. I think it's really, it has a great amount of sweetness to it, um, even with the jam. 